You might remember me putting up a video a few weeks ago about an experiment with water propagation. It took a while, but I finally managed to work on an update video. Day 2, still no change. It's day 3, and I still don't see anything. Zach, Zaki, do you see anything? No? No? Day 4, nothing yet. Day 5, no growth yet. In the past, I had jelly beans growing as fast as 5 days. But we just came out of winter and it's still quite cold here. So maybe it's just a case of leftover dormancy? I guess I will have to wait a bit more. It has been two weeks since my last update and I'm quite surprised that it took this long before any sprouting happened. I would suspect that it has been maybe because of the, the cold because while it's already spring here still quite cold. Last night it was I think only just 3 degrees or 4 degrees Celsius. So yeah, sort of still feels like winter. Let's have a look at some of our leaves. This one seems to have something sprouted. Nothing here yet. Nope, nothing here. Nope. The new sprouts are usually red, so this is this is not it. Might be something here. Nope. 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 Nothing there. So it looks like for this set, there's two out of ten so far. It's a set with full water. Looks like there might be something here. Can't say for sure. Seems like something. something here this one is rotted might be something yeah there seems to be something here like something here and one of them is swimming inside it's funny it's not yet fully rotten unlike this one so we'll see nope nothing 
ね。So far, it looks like three might have something. Five, I'm not sure. One, nothing yet. And one that's rotten. This is the set with halfway filled with water. And right off the bat, you can see a few have already rotten. I'm just removing those. Three out of ten, rotten. It's interesting though that the lid cover is quite dirty. There seems to be some soil particles. Must be from the recent winds that we were having. Let's have a look at the leaves. Yeah, there seems to be something here. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, this one has something here. Quite hard to see in camera. I need to use my macro. So this is my macro set. I'm just using extension tubes. So we'll compare against the photos later. After checking with macro, it looks like this set is more successful than I thought. Um, apparently there's 5 out of 10 that have already sprouted. There's one of the 4 that looks like it's about to start, while the remaining 4 haven't started yet. So this is the set uh, where I have the jar full of water. And looking at the macros, tell me a different story. There are only two that are maybe sprouting. There are seven that haven't sprouted yet. And there's one that has already rotten. So right now it's not looking any better than you know just keeping it drying up in the air. I wonder why. So this is from the set that's halfway filled with water and we, we've got some interesting results quite similar to the other one but so you can see three groups here so let's get this out of the way um, three of them have rotten 
four of them might be sprouting already or about to sprout and three haven't done so yet so compared to the other one with full water with full contact of water I seem to have a better chance here so I've reset them put them back in their containers so I intend to wait until all of them have sprouted so for this set with just um, drying the air all of them are still intact and none of them have rotten they are all firm to the touch which is really really good and quite expected since there's no contact with water for the second set with them touching the water it's quite interesting because uh, one of them has rotten off and I believe it's because of uh, the dust the soil the dirt particles on the cover because we had some pretty pretty, uh, pretty windy days recently so you know maybe the soil particles infected the wet parts above the lid that's my only guess although there might be something else that may have caused it it's interesting though that most most of the leaves are quite soft so you know this might not be a very good way if you're doing it mass and this is the third set with them just suspended over water and we've got similar similar results to the other one where some of them have rotten off and it's also interesting that the, the lid is dirty so maybe the same thing happened some of the leaves are firm while some of them are soft but not as soft as this set and compared to the set with uh, full full water it seems to have more uh, more leaves that are about to sprout compared to this one so that's I find it really interesting but despite all of that let's not forget uh, this set I haven't done anything with them I just lay them on the soil and I still get a better success rate with them there might be something wrong with how I approach it but you know uh, the point of his of this experiment is that I want to see which one is the fastest so I did not wait for this two to dry to callus off well this one had the luxury of time to callus off before trying to sprout since the point of this exercise is to see which method is the fastest and just a side note, back in I think spring or summer, I did a similar experiment but without the water, um, just drying in the air. And it took about five to seven days before the first few leaves started to sprout. And but generally I would wait about uh, two to three days before I start uh, exposing them to moisture. So I think we're missing the point of waiting if we're going to let these two dry first before going in the water because that's half of the wait, two to three days, of the five to seven. So what's the point, right? We might as well just leave them laying in the soil and still have better success. But there might be more to this and maybe my methodology is wrong so I'm going to try again when the weather is much warmer so it's still cold here in Melbourne thank you for watching if you like this video maybe you could head over to my Facebook page it's facebook.com slash seriescapades I usually post photos and stories and Facebook between videos and that's most of the time so yeah thank you 
and see you in the next video.